How to remove a weaving from a loom for third grade. First, you want to cut your needle off, leaving about one inch of yarn. Hand in your needle. You won't need it anymore. Pack down your yarn to the bottom of the loom. If there's a really big gap, you're going to want to add more weaving. You should have about two inches before the top. This is the really important part. Cut the first two strings at the top of the loom. Only two. Now tie those two strings in a double knot, just like I showed. You know, double knot them and they're going to tie tight against your yarn. That's why you cut them at the tippy top so that there's enough string there so you can tie the knot. Continue tying your strings two at a time, tie them in a double knot. Two at a time, tie them in a double knot. Take your time. Do not rush. You've spent a lot of time on this weaving. Don't ruin it now by rushing. Cut two strings at the top of the loom, tie them in a double knot. Touch two more and continue. On the back, you're going to flip it over. You do not need to tuck cut the strings. Why not? Because they were already cut from the other side. Take two strings and tie them in a knot. Pull off two, tie them in a knot, and continue until all the strings have been tied in double knots tight against your weaving. Now it is time to pull it off the loom. You only cut the strings on the top. Pull it down. Notice the arrow Pull it down to the bottom. You have to lose, use a little bit of muscle. Now the opposite side of where the strings were tied, pull it down. Now decide which side is the inside or outside. You know how you turn your socks inside out? Turn your weaving inside out and see if you like it that way. It is gonna look different, but usually all the knots disappear. All right, you don't need to put your name on a piece of paper, on a tape and write it on. But now you're going to decide, is it going to be a pillow? So you're gonna stuff it, or is it gonna be a pocket? And you're gonna attach a strap. If you're going to stuff it, you actually stuff the stuffing inside, and then you're gonna tie the strings across to hold the stuffing inside. The strings from the front get tied to the strings in the back. Double knot it again all the way across. Or are you making a pocket? You can decide, do you want to trim the strings off? And you're going to make a pocket by braiding the yarn and then tying it on. I can't wait to see what your projects look like.